The editor of the Julesburg Gazette is quite right. Indians did not read newspapers. It's a matter of speculation, therefore, just how they did hear of the whiskey cargo. There were couriers, of course. And there was the smoke signal, first used by the ancient Greeks and Hebrews. How the Indians acquired it from them is of no importance here, but they did. Nor was smoke used exclusively. A crude mirror, painted stone, carved bark of trees were quite popular. And a peculiarly knotted string. The message was always transmitted in code, a code which no white man was ever able to break. Regardless of what method was used by the Indians, it's a matter of record that news of the whiskey train became common knowledge within 48 hours to every tribe of every North American Plains Indian. We are still quite unaware why only one tribe rode out to investigate the train of fire water. But it's to be supposed there was some competition among the various tribes for the honor. It is for us to make reconnaissance of wagon train position. It is for me to make such reconnaissance. He is chief of Sioux. And I am chief of Crow. We will do it. You will not do it. I will do it. You and I are blocked. Yes, we are. <laughs> Authorities agree that personal disputes among the Plains tribes were settled very quickly. 